Hello and welcome to our academy DNAXT where we are exploring the world of network and security. Today we have something really exciting for you an unboxing video of Fortigate 60F firewall. If you are into network and security let's dive in. This is Fortigate 60F box. Here you will see the serial number, part code and model number. At the back you will see the production date, then made in it, it show made in Taiwan and manufacturing by the Fortinet INC and the address. Let's open the box. Once you open the box, you will see the 40 gate firewall. It wrapped with the cloth so that it very safe. It's very slick box guys. This is the front panel and you will see the back panel. Very slick. Apart from 40 gate hardware box, you will get a quick start guide. With the help of quick start guide, you can configure your FortiGate firewall. It's a box pack, right? It is. It come up with the factory default setting. So definitely you have to refer the quick start guide. And by the way, this quick start guide common for 40F and 60F. Once you open further, you will get a RJ45 patch cord. Why it is required? When you configure your FortiGate firewall first time, you will connect your laptop on the port number 1 so that you will get IP address on DSCP and you can configure the firewall. Then we have a power cable along with the power adapter. So let's now discuss about the FortiGate firewall hardware. Okay. If you look at the front panel, you will see the lots of LEDs, power LED, status LED and HA LED. By the way, you can configure this firewall in the cluster as well as in the HA. And here you will see the port status. Okay. Back panel, the first you can see the power supply, it's a DC direct current 12 watt. Then you will see the USB. Why the USB port is required? If your 40 gate firewall doesn't have the internet access, maybe your firewall is in the air cap network. And if you want to upgrade the 40 AS, you can bring your 40 OS in the USB and upgrade your firewall. Or you can take a backup as well. Next, console port. Typical console port. You can connect this console port and configure your firewall through CLI. You will see the Next two port WAN 1 and WAN 2. These port typically we will connect it to the service provider. Either it could be a MPLS or it could be your internet. This WAN 1 and WAN 2 port you can use for SD WAN underlay. Next you have a DMZ. Next you have a port A and B. These two are a 40 link port. These two port you can connect it to your switches and you can build your 40 gate fabric. Then you have a total 5 ports. We can call it as a LAN port. 40 gate 60 F firewall naming convention is not port 1, port 2. Internal 1 internal 2, internal 3, 4 and 5. Port name is internal. For WAN 1, there is no change in the name. It's a WAN 1 and WAN 2. Let's now talk about the 40 gate 60 hardware specification and the performance. 40 gate 60 series come up with the 4 model. 40 gate 60F, 61F, 
फोर्टी वाई फाई सिक्सटी एफ फोर्टी वाई फाई सिक्सटी वन एफ इज देर एनी डिफरेंस इन द हार्डवेयर नो नो डिफरेंस राइट ऑन ऑल फोर मॉडल्स यू विल गेट द टू वैन पोर्ट वन डी एम जी टू फोर्टी लिंक पोर्ट एंड टोटल फाइव इंटरनल पोर्ट वाई फाई सीरीज कम विद द एंटीना यू डोंट रिक्वायर्ड एनी एक्सेस पॉइंट टू कनेक्ट फायरवॉल इट सेल्फ एक्ट एज अ वाई फाई कंट्रोलर एज वेल एज अ एक्सेस पॉइंट बट हियर इन दिक्सटी एफ एंड सिक्सटी वन एफ यू वुड रिक्वायर द एक्सटर्नल एक्सेस पॉइंट बट दिस टू फायरवॉल डज सपोर्ट वायरलेस कंट्रोलर कैपेबिलिटी फ्रॉम ऑल दिस मॉडल यू विल मैनेज यूर फोर्टी फैब्रिक विद द हेल्प ऑफ यूर फोर्टी लिंक पोर्ट is a major difference between the 60f and 61f is ssd 60f doesn't come up with the dedicated ssd 61f has a 128 gb ssd now let's look at the throughput or i can say performance performance wise no change any of the model ips throughput 1.4 gbps but how With login enabled, NGFW throughput one Gbps with login enable and major based on the firewall, IPS and application control. Next is your threat protection same. You have a seven hundred mb and seven hundred Mbps. Set protection throughput, VPN throughput 6.5 Gbps. But how many side-to-side -side VPN it does support? Total side-to-side -side means gateway to gateway IPsec tunnel support 200. Then SSL VPN throughput, yes, it's the uh, around 900 Mbps. and uh, how many ssl vpn it does support for 200 user tunnel mode ssl inspection throughput 630 mbps concurrent session 700k then you have the new concurrent uh, new per uh, new connection per second 35k then how many number of policy it does support total 2000 policy and about the client to gateway ipsec vpn means remote access vpn on this firewall total you can onboard 500 user now let's talk about some advanced feature okay advanced feature virtual domain vdom mm, default 10 and maximum it does support 10 for vdom You doesn't required. We do, we don't required any license. Maximum number of forty switches. As I told you, right? There are two ports, forty link port, can connect it to your forty switches, and you can build a forty gate fabric. So total twenty four switches you can connect. Maximum number of forty gate AP. So if we are using a default mode, sixty four, or bridge mode, I can say, and if it is a tunnel mode, it will support thirty two only. Maximum 40 gate 40 token, right? For the authentication, 500, and you can configure all these series or model in the HA, active active, active passive, and the cluster. To know more about the configuration, architecture, and the concept, please be in touch. Thank you so much.